Unjarama, Unjarama Kusadi Munkutoli. Welcome again to your Pular series. Today we will continue straight to competence five, chapter five, which is about food. Handeko, handeko fi nyame te woleteng. Hande, today, kofi nyame te woleteng. We will talk about food. Okay? So. Uh, okay, so I'm basically recording. I haven't uploaded competence four and three yet. I will do competence five and then I will upload everything. I will upload everything. Okay, okay, let's go straight to competence five food. Ah, beidu seda, beidu, beidu seda, eat a little more. Beidu seda, it means. Add a little more, but here because we are talking about food, we eat a little more. But in general terms, pay do say that means add a little more. Pay do goal means to add. Pay do, we have already seen the imperative in the last chapter, so now you know how to use the imperative. Pay do means add. Okay, that's the imperative for the verb pay do goal. Pay do say that. Okay, so let's look at this dialogue here. Kabappa Abdul at Uncle Abdul's place. Whenever you see ka, means at someone's place. So Kabappa Abdul, ka Susan at Susan's place. Ka Omar at Omar's place. Ka Abdullah at Abdullah's place. When you see ka, something means at that person's place. Okay? Ka means at. Kabappa Abdul at Bappa Abdul's. Bappa means uncle, so at Uncle Abdul's place. Okay, onjara ma bapa Abdul, ajara ma kutoli natu. Onjara ma bapa Abdul, ajara ma. Uh, she said onjara because bapa Abdul is uncle Abdul, so older. So ajara ma kutoli, kutoli means welcome. Natu, enter. Natu is the imperative for the verb natu girl, means to enter, right? Aruso yeng, aruso yeng, come and, and let's have lunch. Jodo, sit down. Awa, albarka, midovela, albarka, you will see it later, albarka means thank you. Okay, awa, awa means okay, albarka, thank you. Midovela, I'm very hungry. I'm hungry, I'm hungry. Okay, hida andi ma fitiga, hida andi ma fitiga, hida andi ma fitiga. Tiga means peanut, ma fitiga means like a peanut sauce, like peanut stew. Okay. He he, mido yidi ma fitiga bui. He he, I I I I I love ma fitiga. I love it a lot. We will see about the, the vocabulary words, the new vocabulary words. He he, mido yidi ma fitiga bui. Nyiri ndi noveli ha kohombo defi. Nyiri ndi noveli ha kohombo defi. The rice is very good. Okay, the meal is very, very good. Kohombo defi, who cooked? Who cooked? Ko beingo ang aisa to defi. Himo wawi defu golka. Ko beingo ang aisa to defi. It's my wife aisa to who cooked. She, she, can, she can cook well, isn't it? Doesn't she? Okay, she is very good at cooking, doesn't she? Okay, himo wawi defu golka. So that ka, as I explained, in the previous chapter, it means like right or you know, like question tag. Himawai day, yes, yes, indeed, she's 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 really good. They do say that add a little more, eat a little more. Oh, oh, mihari tef. No, 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 I'm 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 really really full. Okay, and we will see what these words mean. The tef, and we will see the the author will explain it beautifully. Albarka. Thank you. Barka Allah. You're welcome. Barka Allah means thanks to Allah. When you say thank you in our culture, when you say thank you, the person replies, thanks to Allah. Okay? That's another to, It means uh, in English, just you're welcome. There's no equivalent in English, but it's the equivalent of you're welcome. But it literally means thanks to Allah. You thank me, but without Allah, we could not be able to provide that. Okay? So, Barka Allah. Barka Allah. Okay? Al Barka Allah. Barka Allah. Same. Ka hotel at the restaurant. Hotel means at the 
at the hotel. Maybe the restaurant is inside the hotel. That's why. Okay. Mido wela nyiri no wodi. I am hungry. Nyiri no wodi. Do you have food? Do you have rice? He he nyiri e mafe soup no wodi. Lachiri e kosankadi no wodi. He he yes. Nyiri e mafe soup no wodi. Uh, okay. Nyiri e mafe soup no wodi. There is rice and uh, like a soup. Uh, we also have lachiri e kosang. Lachiri. Lachiri, uh, let me open uh, Chrome so that I can show you what is Lachiri. Uh, Lachiri, uh, Chrome. Sorry, mine is like Chrome. Okay. Uh, oh, I didn't write it. Okay, this is lachiri. This is lachiri. This is kosam. Kosam is yogurt. Lachiri kosam is a very famous dish. Okay, we eat it usually in the morning, and we eat it also in uh. When like a baby is born, the seventh day, they cook this in the morning. Uh, to, uh, how is it called in English? I forget. The baptism in, in French, baptism uh, to baptize, not really baptize as in the church, but the seventh day after the baby after a baby is born. So this is what is cooked. Okay, uh, this is lachiri ekosa. Lachiri is made from corn. It's made from corn. So it will be like couscous. If you know couscous, Moroccan couscous, uh, it's like that, similar to Moroccan couscous. So we eat it with yogurt. I love it so much. Really, this is one of my favorite. I love all types of couscous. Couscous is my favorite meal. But I, 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 actually, I, I, I love actually. I love Moroccan couscous also. It's super delicious. One of my favorite meals. I love Senegalese couscous also. It's called cherry. I love it. Couscous is my favorite meal, okay? Couscous is my favorite meal. So, lachiri is, uh, is something like uh, uh, couscous. So, you eat it with yogurt. It's super, super delicious. Or you can add sugar. Or just you, you use like plain, plain, plain yogurt. If you add sugar, also don't add like a lot of sugar. Okay? Uh, add to your taste, okay? So, this is lachiri. Uh, let's return to our... Okay, uh, he lachiri ekosang, lachiri ekosang, lachiri and yogurt. Okay, kadi no wodi. Fonye no wodi, fonye. Fonye, fonye means fonyo, fonyo. Fonyo is something else also. It's some fonyo. Okay, this is fonyo. Okay, this. Okay, this is fonyo. So fonyo also is uh, is very nice. I prefer lachiri though, but fonyo also isn't very nice. No, she uh, he's asking fonye no di mido yidi fonye e mafe soup. I I I like fonye and some soup on top. Okay, some like sauce. Soupu uh, soupu we call it for soup and for sauce. So <laughs> so it make the difference. We basically this is mafe. And it's a sauce, not a soup. So basically, you mix everything in the term soup. So it can be stew, it can be soup, it can be a sauce. Okay. So all of that is in the term soup. Okay. Oh, oh, fonye ala. There is no fonyo. Konyiri maro tumi defi. I only, uh, uh, I I only cooked rice. I only cooked rice. Okay. Okay, maro, what's the difference between ma maro is rice, the, 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 the grain itself. The grain is the grain itself. Now, nyiri is when it's cooked. When it's cooked, you say nyiri. When it's not cooked, you, you say maro. Do not, okay? Maro, maro means the grains. Nyiri means when it's cooked. So, nyiri maro means uh, it has already been cooked. But maro only... It, 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 it means 
the grains. Okay. Awa add the lachiri okasam. Okay, then bring lachiri and kasam. Awa you mean add the dang? Okay, should I bring uh, uh, salt or oh, oh, add the sugar? Tung just no, just bring sugar only. Tung means only, and we will see those words. Okay, now you have a lot of interesting vocabulary words here. Okay, first let's go to stative verbs, verbs about state, not about the action, but about state, okay? So we will see that in polar, instead of using an adjective like I am hungry, we will use a stative verb, okay? So these are st some stative verbs, andugal, to know. You don't do the action, you, you just know. It's a state. Endugal, to be ripe or ready, okay? To be ripe as a fruit, to be ready as a, as a meal. You are cooking. If it's uh, ready, you say bendi. It is ripe. It is ready. Uh, bendugol also for a fruit. A mango. Okay. If it's ripe, then we say mango rendeng bendi. The mango is ripe. Mango rendeng bendi. It's a verb, but it's a state verb. Okay. Bubugol to be cold. Ndian and no bu. Ndian and. The water is cold. To be thirsty. Okay? Uh, I am not thirsty. I am To want. I don't like you. I don't want you. How would you go to be in a hurry? Okay? To own. Okay? To hold. Mi jogaki mbudi, I don't have money. To hold or to have, mi jogaki mbudi. Mi jogaki, I don't have or I don't hold any money with me. Mi jogaki mbudi, mbudi means money. Marugol, to, marugol to have, but also like to spare something. Okay? You are saving something, that is a marugol. To save something. To save some money and, and so on. Marugol. Mo, you going to be good. Mido moji, I am good. Amo ya, you are not good. Okay, mo you go to be good. Ngongugol, uh, ngongugol. This is ng ng ngongugol to be sleepy. Okay, ronkugol to be tired. Hila ronki, I am tired. Hila ronki, ma mido ronki, mido ronki, mido ronki, mido ronki. Better mido ronki. I am tired. And we will see what to use. Should we use me for for state? It depends for for um, for state verbs and for 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 between state verbs and action verbs. There's a difference of which pronoun we will use, and we will see it later. Very interesting. Ronkugol to be tired. Waugol to be able to do something. Waugol to be do to do something well. Welegol to be hungry. Waugol. Welegol, mi welama. I am getting hungry. I'm hungry. Welugol. Ah, okay. Don't confuse welegol and welugol. Welugol to taste good. Welegol to uh, to be hungry. Wonugol to be. Wulugol. Wulugol to be hot. Wulugol. Cafe on no wuli. Cafe on no wuli. Ndi and no wuli. Okay. The coffee is hot. The the water is hot. Yidugol to like. Yonugol to be enough. Yonugol to be enough. Okay? So now, action action verbs, you are already aware of them. Beidugol to add, to increase. Defugol to cook. Nene and defali. Hande nene and defali. Today my mom did not cook. Hande, today. Nene and defali. Today my mom did not cook. We will see the past, I think, later. How to say the use the past simple. Harugol to be full, as in uh, to be full. Hebugol to obtain. Hirtagol to eat dinner. Heuragol to greet. Heuragol. Hande ahiurakilan. Today you did not greet me. Fi honnung ahiurakilan. Why you did not greet me? Let me open notepad. Uh, notepad. Uh, 
uh, what did I say? Fi, how do I write that? Fi honnu, fi honnu, fi honnu, fi honnu, ahiuraki, ahiuraki, fi honnu ahiuraki. Why? Why didn't? Why didn't you greet? Okay, hiuraki is in the past. Okay, fi honnu means why? Fi honnu means why? Okay, fi honnu. Hiuragol, hodugol to leave somewhere. Hodugol, eat to gol koje eat breakfast. Okay, eat to gol koje breakfast. To eat breakfast is the action verb. Hirthagol to eat dinner. And where is the other one? So you go to eat lunch. So you go. Okay. Now, uh, uh, where are we? Iwugol to come from a place. Iwugol. Lotagol. Lotagol to take a shower. Lotagol to shake up. To take a shower. Lotagol. It's lotugol that means to wash. There's a mistake here. Okay? It's low to goal. Low to goal. You remember we discussed last time about uh, the three types of verbs. So, transitive, reflexive, and passive. So, low to goal is the transitive, is to wash something. Okay? Something or someone. Okay, now low tagol is to wash yourself or to take a shower. Take a shower. Okay, to wash yourself. Now low tagol is to be washed by someone else. Okay, by someone else, maybe a baby. Okay, uh, uh, we'll say that. Okay, low tagol. Nyamugol to eat. Nyamugol, very easy. So you go. Yarugol to drink. Yakugol to munch, to bite. Yakugol. Yakugol. That's why the molars are called yakirde. The molars, they are called yakirde because they are the ones that will, uh, uh, will chew in. So, so yakugol, the molar itself is called yakirde. Okay? Yakugol means to bite. To bite, to chew also. Okay. Uh, food nouns. Okay. Bantara. 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 Kasava. Now the ong is the kasava. Okay. Ba basale. So he, he just put them, these are the suffixes, the, the noun classes, to, to teach you what is the noun classes that should be used for that. But kasava only is bantara. You understand? Bantara ong, the kasava. Okay. Uh, basal leong, pi the onion, pira dan tang, pira dan tang, pira dan milk, pira dan tang the milk, biread, pira dan, biread, pira dan milk, biread bread, bofo egg, bofo ong, budi papaya squash watermelon like that, budi, gerto chicken. Jakatu. Jakatu is something uh, that I don't think exists in the West. I've, even in Asia, I've not seen it. Jakatu is something very super, super bitter. bitter. So we, we eat it, uh, we add it to the mafe, to the especially mafe tiga, uh, peanut stew. It's very nice, uh, it's, but it's super, super bitter. So let, let me show you. Mm, how do I write that? Jakatu. Oh, something completely else. Something else completely. Uh, bitter eggplant. Yes, this is Jakarta. This is Jakarta, okay. <laughs> this is super, super bitter. It's not the eggplant, the traditional eggplant. It's this. This is Jakarta. It's uh, in West Africa, we know it. All I think all countries in West Africa know it. So that's Jakarta, okay. Jakarta. Mm. Uh, where are we? Gerto, Jakatu, Kaba. Kaba means cone. Okay. 
lacciri ko kaaba mo'inirte lacciri lacciri remember lacciri ko kaaba mo'inirte lacciri is made from corn lacciri is made from corn lacciri ko kaaba mo'inirte mo'ingol mo'ingol the verb mo'ingol means to make to create okay lacciri ko kaaba mo'inirte we will see those verb forms uh Kachu, kachu, lemon lime, kachu, kachu, kachu is the real polar word for that. We can also say limon, limon like in English, limon, but the real word is kachu. Uh, kobo kobo is eggplant, kobo kobo is eggplant, the, 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 the purple one. Uh, kobo kobo, kosandang, kobo kobo on, kosandang, sour milk or yogurt, just yogurt. Kosang is sour milk or yogurt, curded milk. Okay, any of those. Lachiri is corn couscous. Okay, lachiri ding. You say lachiri ding, lachiri ding, the corn couscous. Land and ang, the salt. Le munne ang, the orange. Li i ding. Li i means fish in the plural. For the singular, what do we say? Lingil. Lingil. Ling or oh, oh, oh. lingil. Uh, lingil. A fish. Okay. Li yi. Let me write it like li. Li yi. Okay. I'm just. Uh, this approximately we have to write it. This is not using the proper alphabet. Uh, the proper script. Mm, fish. Many, many. Li yi. Or fish in, 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 in general. Li. Li. Your fish in general. If I say, do you eat fish? It's in general. So, li yi. Ma fe kong, ma fe kong, we say just ma fe ong, ma fe ong, instead of ma fe kong, I think we just, we should just say ma fe ong, ma fe ong, to say the sauce, ma fe is sauce, ma fe ong, the sauce, ma fe hako is leaf sauce, so we have two types of leaf sauces, we have ma fe hako pute, and ma fe hako bantara, we have Potato leaf sauce, and we have yam leaf sauce. So both are, are we have those two types. Ma fe hako bantara, yam leaf sauce. Ma fe hako bantara, bantara means yam. Ma fe hako pute means potato. Pute means potato. Um, what, um, uh, potato leaf sauce. Okay, those two types of leaf sauce. So it's uh, mafe hako pute, mafe hako bandara, mafe supu, soup sauce, <laughs> mafe soup, soup sauce, mafe tiga, supu is a, like a light sauce, more watery, okay? Mafe is like stew, it's very concentrated, very thick, okay? Mafe tiga, peanut sauce, maro kong, uncooked rice, okay? For maro, you say maro kong. For mafe, you say mafe ong, you don't say mafe kong. Maro kong uncooked rice. So there's a typo here. Mbe wambang the goat. Mbe wambang the goat. Nyamaku ong the hot pepper. Nyamaku means hot pepper. Ndiang ang the water. Nebban ang, nebban means oil. Nebban. Nebban means also the oil for the body. The, uh, how is it called in English? Mm, how is it called? You know, like Vaseline, all that for the, for the body. It's called nebbang. Nebbang, nebbang for that, if you want to differentiate, you say nebbang pandu, body oil. Nebbang pandu. Pandu means body. Okay, nebbang pandu. Nyirinding, cooked. Now, when it's cooked, cooked rice or cooked grain in general, as we've seen, even for fonyo, you can say nyiri fonyo. Okay? Okay, here, Again, nyiri, nyiri is cooked rice or cooked, cooked grain. So nyiri maro, nyiri maro will be cooked rice, nyiri fonyo will be cooked fonyo. But when you just say nyiri, usually people will tend to think that you are just, you are mentioning just cooked rice. But in reality, nyiri means cooked grain, okay? He's perfectly right here, cooked grain. Okay, nyiri ding cooked grain. Uh, so nyiri ding 
put grain uh, okay nyirinding you, uh, you understand nyirinding so nyiri mafe a uh, nyiri nyiri maro or nyiri fonyo okay now pia pia means is an avocado pia okay avocado in french it's a uh, what's the name uh, avocado mm. avocat avocat in french avocat po po bar po bar it's is po bar only p o o instead of po bar is po bar po bar means black pepper black pepper it means black pepper really in reality po bar means black pepper pompiteri is potato pute is sweet potato sorry pute is sweet potato pompiteri is potato pompiteri is pompiteri on the potato pute on the sweet potato pute is sweet potato Saladi uh, is lettuce, okay? Uh, sou or chou in French, it's taken from the French chou. Chou. Chou means cabbage. Chou in French. Sou. We just took the French. <laughs> Sukkar means sugar. Sukkar, of course, it's an Arabic word that is used in French and in uh, in many languages that is from arabic sukkar sukkar okay sukkar sugar taku taku means okra or ladies fingers okay taku i love it it's so delicious guys and it's it has so many health benefits i think for diabetes it's so i oh i always whenever i'm eating rice i want to add it unfortunately here i don't see it often uh i uh i will try to buy it I, I really love it. When, when you add it to the rice, it makes it very, uh, very easy to eat and digest. It's so amazing. I love it. I love okra. Tamati is tomato. Teu. Teu is meat. Meat. Teu. Tiga is peanut. I love tiga also. I like peanut. Uh, asking questions. Hondung what? Hombo who? Fi hondung why? Honde, honde, honde tuma, when? Honde tuma, when? Jelu, how much? Or how many? If How many for objects? Njelo is how many for people? We already discussed about this. Honto, where? Easy peasy, right? Uh, Okay, very interesting here. For many of these food items, we give the generic form, which takes on the on, on class. These words often have separate singular, like tigare ndeng and plural tigaje deng. Okay, tigare ndeng, tigaje deng. Go back to page 24 for, for more details. Okay, this is the generic. Okay, for example, for le munne, this is the generic, le munne, orange. Le munne rendeng. The, the or like one singular orange, le muner. For one orange, you say le munere. Okay, le munere. For many oranges, we say le muneje. Okay, le muneje. This is the generic. This is the generic term. Okay, we already discussed about this. Uh, Facebook food, drink, and basic needs. Nyiri no wodi is there any food? Nyiri, nyiri no wodi. Okay, so nyiri is also a replacement for food in general. So if you ask about food, you, you, you put rice or, you know, or cooked grains. Is there, so nyiri can just act as a replacement of food in general, of meals in general. Nyiri no odi, is there any food? Nyiri no odi, there is food. Allah, there is none, there is no food. Nyiri Allah, there is no food. You may add nyiri, shall I bring food? Okay. It depends on the context. It can mean, the, uh, sh uh, shall I bring cooked rice? It depends on the context I said. Okora nyiri. Let me, give me some food. Give me some food. Okora nyiri. Give me some, some rice. Okora ndiyam miyara. Let me have water to drink. Okora ndiyam, give me some water. Miyara. Give me some water. Uh, literally, it means give me some water so that I drink it. That's what literally means. Okoran diang, diang is water. Miyara, to drink. Okay? To drink. Yeah, exactly. 
give me some, let me have water to drink, exactly. Bi now, bis bismillah can mean welcome, bismillah. If I bring you a chair and I say, and I tell you, bismillah means, uh, please sit, welcome, it's welcome to sit, okay? Bismillah, okay? Uh, or I can say also, bismillah, when you are knocking on the door, bismillah, so that you, you come inside. Okay, so it's used very, it's very generic. But literally, it means in God's name. That is the literal definition. Kotoli, welcome also. Kotoli, uh, so that you sit also. So that you enter in the house and sit and you have a place. Okay. Albarka, thank you. But literally, it means, it's taken from the Arabic word, Allahumma barik, which means, may God bless, bless you. Or may God bless that thing. Okay? But it's just used to say thank you. Barka Allah, you're welcome. But as I said earlier, okay, it literally means uh, thanks to God. All thanks is to God. No, really, it is good. Well, it is bad. Mihari, I'm full. Midofala, I want. Mifalaka, I don't want. Midowela, I'm hungry. Miwelaka, I'm not hungry. Midotonda, I'm thirsty. Midonaka, I'm not thirsty. Midofala, Yahude Kahurbo, I want or I need, I want literally, I, or, or I need to go to the bathroom. Hurgo, as we discussed earlier, means bathroom. Okay, now some adjectives and verbs. Moya means well. Bui, bui means a lot. Said a little, tung only. Okay, moya, bui, said tung. We will see some sentences. Essential everyday objects. Pileti on plate. Kuyer on sp spoon. Kuyer is taken from French also. Furseti, fork is also taken from French. Labiking, labiking the knife. Tasi on cup. Horgong on horgong on the latrine. Latrine. Latrine means toilet in French. In English also you can use Latin. I didn't know. So horgong on the toilet. Kuri on kitchen hut. Tande on gra uh, gravel yard. Tande, uh, the yard inside, uh, inside, uh, Tande, Tande, how do I? Uh, the yard inside the uh, house. Okay. Tande. Galleden is the house, the family compound, the, 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 the galle. Okay. Okay, now some grammar. Some grammar. In English we usually use adjectives to ex to express qualities, as I said earlier. In Pulab we use stative verbs. So in English when you say I am hungry, you are using the adjective hungry. In Pulab you say mid or wela. I am hungry from wellegol to be hungry. From the stative verbs wellegol to be hungry. Okay, the food tastes bad from med to go to taste bad. Okay, uh, the table below shows the verb endings we've seen so far. There's a page on page 109, you can look for more details there. Uh, they like peanut sauce. The door is open. Do you want to eat? Okay. So the stative verbs endings. So we have the infinitives uh, the, here, ugol, the verbs that end with ugol, the verbs that end with agol, and the verbs that end with egol. Ugol for the transitive, agol for the reflexive, and egol for the passive. Stative, so uh, for ugol, uh, they end uh, with uh, e and the negative a. Example, uh, a verb that ends with ugol. Uh, yarugol. 
Easy peasy. You are going to drink. Okay? Miyari. Okay? Oh, sorry. Yarugol is not a stative verb. Sorry. Uh, Yarugol is an action verb. For example, uh, mm, what uh, stative verbs? Mm, a verb of state. Oh, a verb of state. Ombugal. 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 To be to be closed, okay? Uh, uh, sorry, not ombugal. Ombugal is an action verb. It's omba. Sorry, let me come. I'm not getting any 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 words here. Okay, I will come back to it. Okay, ombagol. Okay, they gave some examples here. Ombag, uh, ombagol, ombagol to be closed. Ombagol. So ombagol. Uh, uh, we will say bafangal ombaki for the negative and for the positive we will say bafangal no ombi okay bafangal ombaki this is the plural okay this is the negative for the positive we will say for the affirmative we will say bafangal no ombi bafangal no ombi bafangal no ombi Bafangal no ombi. Okay. Uh, here are some examples with the negative stative. So, andugal, voila, andugal. Andugal to know. The verb andugal to know. Mi anda for the negative. And what about the, the, uh, the affirmative? It will be what? Mido andi. Mido andi. Okay. Mido andi. I know. Okay. Mi anda. I don't know. Uh, okay. So, bafangal no ombi. The door is closed. Okay. Easy peasy, right? Okay, stative pronouns and the no article, a particle. You see this no that I'm using? No, no ombi, no. Oh, we will see now. We have uh, okay. We have already seen one type of project pro, uh, subject pronoun. We now we now add a second type, the stative. And to differentiate, we will call the first the active pronoun. The stative pronoun is used with stative verbs. When using a noun like bubakar or portojo, on instead of a pronoun in a stative sentence, you need the particle no. Okay, no. Uh, like example, himo wawi pula. Himo wawi pula. Bubakar no wawi pula. Okay. Himo is he. Okay. Bubakar or Aisha or whoever. Bubakar no wawi pula. Now, mido wela. For the stative, you is use mido. Okay. For the first person. And not only for the other. Uh, uh, person. Okay? So, example here, you see, active me, stative, middle. Okay? Middle. Middle. Middle wela, I am hungry. Middle dani. Middle, middle dani, I am sleeping, but it doesn't make sense, but okay. Middle nauni, I am sick. Middle nauni, middle nauni, I am sick. Middle, middle ronki, I am tired. Middle duty, I am told. Okay? He the duty, you are told. Him or duty, uh, she or he is told. He the duty, we, we, including the person I'm talking to. Men and duty, we, excluding the person I'm talking to. He the duty, you plural. He the duty, they plural. Okay? Now, let's take an active verb. Mm. No, for example, mm. active verb like mm. 
example, uh, what activities? Wow, the words are. <laughs> the, uh, these days I have some brain fox, you know. Like I, I, it's just going. <laughs> Very funny. Uh, active. Uh, Okay, uh, uh, oh my God. Okay, let's pause here. Let us pause here and then we will continue with part two. Okay, <laughs> this is funny. Actually, I'm taking the videos like there's no. Uh, cutting of anything, just my natural rea reactions to everything. Let us continue with part, part two later, okay? Thank you again, Onjarama, Onjarama, and and hard I do, Tao, and hard I do, we will, uh, we will stop here for now. We will we we'll stop here, we'll pause here, and hard I do, and hard I do, and feel it at all. Uh, we'll continue later. Okay. Ah, <sighs> Okay. And see and on to my see